Okay. 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 Okay, so we go for now. I'm gonna just show a few things that we did today. Um, this is an amazing case that we do in uh, emotional dentistry. So we took multiple pictures with the mock-up in place. And here you can see how the face changed. I want to go to the club so that we guys can see and then I will post I will post more details later but let's try to go and see the intraoral shots here so this patient I'm gonna show the, the, the conditions she has a tremendous cross by that we're trying to do the case all with aligners with one of my associates and then we try to see what is the lip respond with heat um part of the, the what we're doing here is some magic effects let me go in the other way because in the way that we take the pictures we put some markers in the black part to be able to see to hide the underneath the structure like uh, here you can see that is not the teeth but here is the the trick exposed so we mask those details with the black marker to be able to show and create the illusion that the teeth they already moved the same happens here and this is when we, before we mark that it still looks good though but the details is what it counts more so anyways, the reason that we're doing this case is because um, this patient needs to be committed for an ortho treatment. And sometimes it's difficult to motivate a patient to go for a 19 or 20 aligners treatment and we don't show where we're gonna end up. I'm gonna show the preliminary conditions and also I'm gonna show the concept of motivational mock-up not using the veneer face, also we're going to talk about the motivational mock-up with the natural stru structures movement. So come over here and we're going to see a little bit about the intraoral preliminary conditions. So for instance, if you can see here, part of the more dominant aspects in her smile is these black triangles because the bilateral cross bites. I showed this case like a month and a half ago and we were talking about cranial distortions and all that, that we're taking that as a consideration into the treatment right now. We put the patient in blocks, we make like a onlays for an orthotic, that we deprogram that bite and we try to get some of the skull sutures to release and move. And this was the intraoral conditions over here. So you see this patient has a really deficit into the maxilla in reference with the mandible, and that create a huge collapse in one side over here that does the part that we're gonna see into the models. So come over here and let's see what we did. Let me put some light, is good there? And look at the initial conditions of the patient. Look how much collapse we have into the arch form. Arch 
they can move to that point. And we can see how much collapse we have into this arch that doesn't allow the mandible to be routed, rounded. And in reference with the lower teeth, that's why we have the cross by patterns. And that's where we have in this issue. Oops. <laughs> that we have in this issue into the occlusion. Definitely point A and point B, they have a big discrepancy that that's what we need to develop the upper arch with the ortho somehow to try to have a better occlusion. Simultaneously, we have this tooth that is really high that we need to bring it down and we have a biofunctional position now that is where we move in the teeth. So we made two motivate two mock-ups. First of all, this is the new printer that I'm using today. They get it still yesterday is the Evodin printer. And something that I'm gonna say is honestly really impressed with the quality of the printer. I talk about printers before but they were kind of toys and I still have some value, but this definitely is a professional printer. And part of what I'm seeing is because here, you can see how the micro details get printed. Details that we never have printed before, now we have it. Look at the two layers. Because this is my motivational mock-up, what the patient is wearing into the, pa in the, to the mouth right now. And into the details, I never have that much details between the two layers. And that's what it make it really easier to me to cover with the marker. Now look at the arch form, how are we gonna end up? And this in relation with the bottoms that also we made a mock up into the six anteriors, that will give us an idea where that bite and that relationship is gonna end up. I cannot see the bite because the natural structures are in the way but we manufacture aligners and everything with the final movement. So we have the entire sequencing. But pay attention to the details and the texture that we never were able to see it before. It's not textures or the printer anymore. It's just all these deep details that it makes the mock-up really amazing. Now, I'm gonna remove this mock-up that is the emotional mock-up that we have right now. And this is the one that great engagement. And now I'm gonna place this other mock-up and this mock-up is the result, only the movement of the teeth. So this shows how we re in the teeth in, in different places. We drop in this tooth about four or five millimeters. We put in bottoms in buccal and lingual. And then we drifting all these teeth, creating expansion and maturation of the arch. We're trying to bring point A. And after that we finish this, we're gonna have a better relationship to have some final veneers, that is how we're gonna finish the case, but being minimal, minimally invasive. So we manufacture matrices that allow the proper cleaning of the mock-ups, but so far this is the mock-up. This is the technique, and I want to enhance those details that how we can show to the patient how it's gonna end up the treat movement with a mock-up that is the mock-up of the movement of the teeth this can apply really nice for minimal cases with rotation that the patient doesn't need veneers. In this particular patient, we're gonna enhance the case when we finish with some veneers and that's why we create the other mock-up. Of course, the tissue will move around with the, with, the, with the teeth and the bone and the gum will move. The entire periodontal will follow up the, the distractions created with the aligners, but so far this is the story of the case. So let's see what it is. Jetty, you get a vista? Or not a vista? No. Okay, so let's see here a little bit. So this is the mock-up in place. You see how nice we hide, come a little closer to the light. How we enhance the, the, the interproximal inter embrasures using the black marker. But look how beautiful that smile integrate with her face. She has a big deficit into the maxilla before. Now look at the relationship between the incisal alleged into the uppers and into the bottom, how now it makes sense. And it just fills the entire proportion. Look how beautiful she looks right now. 
she has too much black triangles before that into the the size of the mouth here that didn't let the lips to be in that position so we're making a study to see how much is the distraction of the lip after that we clean the stimulus with veneers but look how beautiful the mock-up so we have a full upper mock-up into the top if you guys seen for this view you can see how my marks into the black blockouts how it kills the effect but that's why we take pictures always for these angles to create the illusions and be able to make the magic. Of course, the veneers are over contour because the, the periodontal and the bone didn't move there. But after the tissue respond, we're going to have a more uh, flat relationship between the bone and the, the new veneers. The bottom teeth also, they've been verticalized to achieve the proper bite because she has a bite edge to edge. And since we're gonna lend the upper teeth, <coughs> we didn't verticalize the upper, but we moved the bottom teeth. The most important part is the entire complexity of the patient. Look how beautiful and harmonic looks the smile on her. And this is what we evaluated. We're trying to see what is the muscles responding to the face. In this case, we have highly documented with jaw tracking motion using GMT, CCAT function, and, and uh, all the integration between Omnicam, Galileos, and all the combination, all the way to the entire planning of the ortho that we do it with Nemo software. Okay, so this is what happened. This is emotional dentistry. Look how we can transform lives, how we can enhance beautiful persons, and we just make the best of it. I hope you guys get some tips for this video, and I hope you enjoy, and a happy husband in the way. Look at that. <laughs> So that's what it is. Welcome. So definitely is a successful. What do you think about this? A spectacular. What do you think about this experience? I love it. I'm really excited. How do you think amazing technology can show the sequences and all the complexity of the treatment, but how this make it more appealing? It's unbelievable, and I feel much better with the whole process. And we haven't even started. <laughs> Okay, so, so I'm really excited. <laughs> that's great. So, okay, stay tuned. Thank you for follow ups, and I hope we can get more transformation of lives together. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.